Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the time. I already pattern. read this one. It exhilarated. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. <laughs> so they got a little setup down there. Let's see. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. We're missing a page. All right, let's get, let's get to going. We need some uh, lights. I mean, some batteries. to me if you want to. just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an ax held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Bro, now they got Barry, bro. Birds better not come after me this time. Oh, we got a little thing right here. We need that. Thank you. 
get this page right here. Then we know they're going to come after us. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Barry, is that you, man? All right, this is where we came up. Picked up our supplies. Now we off. Let's go. Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... All right, they're sending out the boss. I'm gonna have to punish him for this. Hurry up, Barry! I'm on it! I'm on it! It's gotta be here! Oh, shit. Barry, you gotta hurry up, man. Oh crap. I'm gonna explode this big dude though. I'm not playing with him this time. Watch this. Hurry up, Barry! I'm on it! I'm on it! for the nearest you're now leaving bright falls come back soon sign we're we going to the anderson farm i knew you were gonna say something like that you know what you owe me big time for this when this is through if we make it i don't care what anybody says i'm done with darkness you're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift and i'm gonna live in it I'm not sure how they, they crashed into the freaking lake, though. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Barry. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest... But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... How? I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Oh, we brought the wreck. 
Damn. This is where Barry about to get in trouble. Throw him a throw him a um, light or something. Damn it, I'll talk to me. Barry. I had Bro. lost my gun in the crash. Damn. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout is fine! Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's like a sheer wall! Ah! Ow! There's something moving down here! Barry, it's a take it! Use a flare, Barry! Oh, yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? Alright, bro. Don't you get to killed. Find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting! Barry, you... just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You, you can do catch that. Up. That's a good Don't job. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Hell yeah. But well, we gotta see what the hell we did. I mean. Oh, there he is. Go, Barry, go. I can actually see Barry moving, bro. That was cool. <laughs> Barry was actually still carrying the cutout. We can't fire him. Here we go with this nonsense again. Bro, I'm tired of this. Stopped the car at the Anderson farm. Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Now my light wants to go out. Nah. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. It 
Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Nightingale was crazy, man. He would have killed me. But hopefully they tell me why he wants to kill me. But because he been acting a fool. But he been calling me the wrong name. Or am I Tom? I don't know. I can't tell now the way this damn game is going. The, uh, the other people called him Tom too. The old men, they called him Tom. Since the movement in the woods ahead, facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Trust no one in the dark. Yeah. Only Barry, bro. <laughs> he the only one that's been holding it down for us. Start this junk if they owe me like this. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. gotta be one of the freaking this this is getting crazy i'm getting frustrated I could sense with the this movement shit. in the woods ahead facing the enemy without a weapon we're getting was dangerous, frustrated but i had no choice are you gonna tell me i don't got a weapon now and then you're gonna flood me with three of these freaking zombie things and try to give me the start of light and his ass is getting tired come on man like he can't even run Fast as hell, man. Come on, bro. This is ridiculous. This is some ridiculous shit right here. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Yeah. It's not like I can push the button and flash him on my light. <gasps> Fire 
I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. He's telling me to pick up some damn batteries. See his little ass right there? I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. If you get overwhelmed, run into the light. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Definitely no way back up here. <laughs> this freaking light. Alright, we out. Keep going this nonsense. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Wow, that part was making me mad, boy. I'm talking about that shit was making me mad. Can I not take this one?
They about the, the right car too. was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. I had seen it in my dream. It was... The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. So what you saying? You have to excuse me, I had to grab one of these. These uh, Jolly Rancher chews started getting a little frustrated, so I'm gonna go and bust one of these up. Strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Oh no! We forgot about those. They almost got me with that. Hopefully the dog ain't dead from the beginning. Let me get this started first. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. <laughs> they had fought these shades before. Old man wasn't scared. Close to the light this time, my friends. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Hello? 
Anybody here? <coughs> Barry! <coughs> no! Danny, you're not! <coughs> Please! <coughs> What are you? What are you? Ah, no, don't! I'm sorry! Ah, 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 ah. Well, that's terrible, man. Yo, that's crazy. They killed my partner, man. I'm about to go nuts for real. Uh, I know you. you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again uh, for the moonshine you know it, it makes you see they're they're not gonna miss it they're in the loony bin uh, my buddy danny i've run through every possible course in my head if i continue like the dark presence wants me to the story i'm writing won't save alice it's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It right. will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Who the freak is Zane? His ass is just drunk. Bro, I almost got real. I, th I thought they killed Barry, man. Still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Hmm. We got one. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Yep, I'm stopping to pick up this damn thermos. We gotta check this out, right? It's a good thing we came this way.
a lot of exploring you can do on this game. Oh, I don't see nothing. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. <laughs> yeah, they got a nice setup. Ow! Run! It's coming! There's too many of them! <laughs> oh, they didn't build this crap. God damn! Yeah. I'm glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot! To the music. Ow! We have to fight them off! I can set off four of the fireworks from here and help you out! Don't worry. Hey, Al! Did you notice how much stuff around? This place is stuck! Ow! Hold on! 
I'll try to get the stage lights on. Oh no. episodes right here. You had to be crazy to deal with this. <laughs> that was awesome! Yeah, that was tough. Right Falls, rock and roll capital of America. <laughs> hey, Al! This way to the farm! Let's go. At least you're still here, Barry. That's all that matters. Seller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We damn sure ain't worried about that cutout. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right. Very chill. And if I don't get my way, I'm so all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Wow. <laughs> you look at that thing, Al. They really went all out with this <laughs> they got a boat? Ride, didn't they? Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay. Sleep. 
We all spend oh, a third of our night dreams spray. in soft embrace. Somewhere it's between memory. fantasy and Hey, remember when I got you that gig? But your first real life writing life job. What got you started? Life. Was this one of your episodes? Yes, by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything, all of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't... isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. But maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh. Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something... Something's happening here. Alarm yeah? clock. What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man. I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. Hmm. They did say something about that. Finding alarm clocks. And all of that nonsense. It's like finding them thermos. Go up here and see what's up with this boat. We're about to use that boat to ram the door. Only makes sense. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. <laughs> so my man cut his eye out. Ain't that something? of Asgard, the Ragnarok tour, be awed by celestial wrath and fury. Alright, let's get up out of here now. Wonderful. You didn't expect that, did you? Done. Come here. 
Let me, let me prove my theory. supposed to go. Test the my theory a little bit. Barry, how are you getting through all this stuff without a gun? You actually pretty nice. All right. Oh, this is the moonshine machine. Wow. Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm going to start representing them. Yep. Sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Yeah, Good luck with that, bro. Al. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take the a door was barred look at this from stuff. the other side. I'd have to find another way. Yeah, always gotta find another way. But that's what we do. Careful as I can be, man. Hey, 
as you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff, which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about it. I wasn't gonna say anything. I, I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me. I do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of problems this year. Vandals, lighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the Harry, better come on. I could see the building that had to be the Andersons' home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. So I gotta open the silo door for Barry. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, this is this is disgusting. Mm. I gotta defeat the harvester. They making a lot of sense out here. Unless they got a freaking bazooka. <laughs> they got a damn bazooka or something out here. Alright, we're gonna just throw some. Uh, Go ahead for it, man. Oh, shit. Hold on. All right. That's what we're going to do. We're about to flash bang these boys up. show you something sir I did it Sir, I couldn't hear you from way over there. <laughs> hey, Bear, I'm coming to get you, bro. <clears throat> Hang on. Is that you 
you out there, buddy? I had to find a key to get Barry out. Yeah, it's me. Hang on. I'll try to find a key to get the door open. So we got that to... Nothing, I'm coming, bro. You know I got my allergies. Chill. Gotta get you out of there. Come on, Ab. Hey, you let's go, man. Yeah. You ain't have to deal with them silos, man. Or the harvester, so relax. Shit got spooky out here. Hold on. Let's see if we can get in this building. Trying to see. All right. side of the field we're almost there don't get happy this farm yet is a crazy place for crazy people we should feel right at home then valhalla look we're out here these old people man if it weren't for them we would be done come on one more gig let's do this thing. Uh -huh. old guys know the truth hopefully these two old men do not go crazy on me I do not want to have to put them down. Check the fuse box. They've been doing pretty good. Um, they kept us alive. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. They came back, bro. Look. Got the got the little instrument right there. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Finally. find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talk about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's your face? The lamp lady. lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right! Must be! Okay? We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. So Cynthia Weaver... Hey Al, lots of hours liked... before dawn. Might as well get some the rest. God, that was and by CW. rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry, this is... Yeah, what the hell? Bro, we shouldn't be getting drunk. That's a bad idea. Wow. I'm sorry about that. No, seriously, because... I... Oh, what the hell? Oh, we don't get along, but we're gonna find her, right? <clears throat> Even though you're a crazy bastard, I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, you're like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you 
couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Barry, Roger, Dolly, you need one of those. I would have slept with Kim lights all over my outfit. Shit, he still can't go to sleep. Now I'm a spirit ghost. Damn it. Yo, this is tough right here. This is tough. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. Oh, I'm like, what the hell? I was like, why ain't I moving? I was stuck. I'm not used to this. It's like the sunken place. Time was the I force, remembered being surprised ghost. to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Mm -mm. Alice, Alice. What the hell? I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Go in. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Oh shit. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Bro. Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. I didn't see anybody in the window. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Bro, she ain't in no damn study. Alice? She gonna lock me in this room. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed ah! her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. Okay. 
You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my Barbara a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Barbara. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> what the hell? All right, we're gonna go ahead and call that an episode. That's the end of episode four. Things are getting crazier. Now the muse she was is happiness and you mind about a grace. If you stuck with me this far, I do appreciate it. Please hit the like, subscribe, share the video if you know of anybody that likes some of this content. Uh, this definitely will lead into uh Alan Wake 2. So that's why we went and did this playthrough. Let's go ahead and rock out for a second. Catch you in the next one.